So as I discussed in a segment over this past weekend, last Wednesday, a bunch of MAGA fanatics and right-wing celebrities descended upon Mar-a-Lago to watch Dines de Souza's new film. And I think that's how you say his name. I don't care. His new film, 2000 Mules, that allegedly shows that the 2020 election was stolen. When in fact, all of the fact checkers that have actually watched the film say this is totally wrong and based on a flawed reading of all of the data. But nevertheless, D'Souza is still out there pushing this film. And this week he has come out and expressed his anger and frustration over the fact that apparently neither Fox News nor Newsmax is willing to promote the film. Here is what DeSalza had to say on Twitter. I'm sorry to say Tucker Carlson and his team specifically instructed Catherine Engelbrecht of True the Vote not to mention the movie. Then he continued in a subsequent tweet, by the way, Newsmax is also blocking coverage of 2000 Mules. I was booked on Grant Stenchfield's Newsmax show and then the network canceled on me. Criticize the movie if you like, but why isn't this this a legitimate news story? How can so-called news networks pretend it doesn't exist? Well, Mr. DeSouza, I, I have a question for you. Why is it that every fact checker that has looked at this said that your movie is very flawed, said that you took the data that you claim, obviously you looked at and all your people, your experts yourself probably uh, misread it and then skewed the results. Yeah, that's not coming from me. That's coming from PolitiFact, by the way. That's what they said. They actually watched your movie. I of course have not seen it, nor do I plan to. Most likely because one, I I know it's full of crap because we know the 2020 election wasn't stolen, uh, but also the price of it. Good God, Dinesh DeSouza is selling this thing for $29.99. If you just want to rent it and watch it one time, it's $19.99. So 20 bucks just to rent this piece of crap, 30 if you want to own it forever. But what Mr. DeSouza here doesn't seem to understand Actually, he understands it. What his followers don't seem to understand is that folks, we have had the audits. We have had the recounts. We have had the signature verifications. We have had audits on top of other audits, literally on top of other audits. Not one of them has been able to produce any of the evidence that people like DeSalza or Lindell or Sidney Powell or Donald Trump himself claims exists. You know why? because it doesn't exist. They have been given every single opportunity to prove what they have to say. And I think that Mr. DeSouza here, if he actually had the evidence that he swears is in this film, if it was real, he wouldn't be putting it out in a movie, right? He, he would be filing it in a lawsuit. He would be taking it to the Supreme court. He would be taking it to Republican secretaries of state and saying, look at what happened in your state. Now you need to file a lawsuit challenging the election results. If, if he actually had the evidence, if he wasn't clearly based on what PolitiFact says, lying to us all. But as I mentioned last week, that still didn't stop people from flocking down to Mar-a-Lago. Matt Gates showed up at the premiere of this. Donald Trump, of course, was there smiling, the biggest smile I've ever seen on his face. Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Boebert, hell, Kyle Rittenhouse even showed up to this film. And it's all fantasy. It is pure fantasy. And for those of you who actually believe that what's in the film is real, again, I ask the question, why has he not filed a lawsuit? Why is he trying to make a buck off of it instead of using it to actually overturn the election. If it were real, doesn't seem like he would have a hard time doing that. So maybe keep that in mind. If you're one of the morons that wants to spend $30 to own this piece of crap film. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the fair and balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen not be so grumpy.